We're discussing the no-touch technique in breast augmentation surgery. What the name basically describes is the idea of touching the breast implant as little as possible while performing the surgery. One of the worst complications in breast augmentation surgery is infection. If a breast implant or if the breast tissue around an implant were to get an infection, the breast implant would have to be removed, no surgery could be performed for a period of time, and the patient would have to wait a period of time before getting an additional surgery to put the implant back in. So as plastic surgeons, we do whatever we can to prevent infection. There are many different things that we do in the operating room to attempt to prevent infection. One of the things that we've recently started doing is what's called the no-touch technique. And the name is a little bit of a misnomer. It should really be called the minimal touch technique because obviously there's no way to put a breast implant inside the body without touching it at least a little bit. But the concept is the only person in the operating room who touches the breast implant is the surgeon. Prior to touching the breast implant, the surgeon changes his sterile gloves, puts on new sterile gloves, then prepares the implant as he normally would in antibiotic uh, solution. At this point, the nurse will commonly open uh, the implant packaging to the surgeon. The surgeon will take the implant out of the packaging. This is the only time that the implant is touching anything other than the inside of the packaging and the inside of the body. At this point, the implant is placed inside of this funnel device. The tip of the funnel device is then placed inside of the patient's breast cavity that has already been dissected in order to fit the breast implant. At this time, the funnel is squeezed and the implant is propelled through the skin and through the breast tissue into the properly dissected pocket. The implant never touches the breast skin, therefore it never has an opportunity to be contaminated with any bacteria that may still be on the skin. In addition, the implant is not traumatized and the implant is placed within the pocket in a very fast and efficient manner. So this is the, new, the no touch technique. It involves touching the implant as little as possible and using a funnel device in order to propel the implant quickly into the breast pocket without contacting the skin.